everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We got a chilly day out here in Colorado, but we are so excited for our brand new family member here. This is an SG43 that we got, and we're super excited about this thing. We got the cart with it. This cart is so cool. You can use it to pull it around because the, the weapon itself is fairly heavy, and you can also stand it up, which we're gonna show you guys later, and use it as a stand-up, and they used to use it as an anti-aircraft stand. What we got here is the SG-43. This is a belt fed. And what we got here, just so we're in compliance, we have YouTube approved 29 round belt. So they have new rules out now. You can't have uh, more than a 29 round magazine. So we took our uh, belt here and just cut it so we could still be in compliance. All right, so we got the SG-43. I'm gonna butcher this, but I believe it's a Goryanov. Gor Goryanov, something like that. I correct me, please, correct me. Yeah, I you guys are so good at just spelling it out for me. But this is a belt-fed freedom seed spreader here, and it has a quick change barrel in the front. We're not gonna go over all this stuff for you guys, but we can show you right here. It's got this little tab right here that you, well, you lift this up slide this back and the barrel pulls out for a quick change barrel when it's getting hot this is the feed here uh, for the belt feed just grabs it pulls the new uh, next round in and you got this grabber right here that pulls the round back and drops it down now they did come out with an SGM now the SGM um, they changed the charging handle. The charging handle right now is on the bottom, which is cool. I love these spade handles, the charging handle here. It's got a really good safety. You have to push this up in order to get the firing um, paddles to go forward. Other than that, it's not gonna move. But anyways, I'm getting, getting ahead of myself here. So the charging handle on the SG43 is on the bottom. The SGM, it was on the side, moved to the side. They also put a dust cover um, over the ejection port here, and they had a fluted barrel. Now these were then, uh, from what I've read, were replaced by the PK and PKM. Uh, I don't know if anybody has seen these still uh, in use today in, in the Ukraine uh, war that's going on, but they have seen what's the maxim. This replaced the maxim 1910, which was a water-cooled, which looks a lot like the uh, American weapon back in the day, the, uh, what was that, the M1919, which was, uh, also had the water-cooled, or M1919A, I believe it was. But this replaced that, and Brandon Herrera did a really good, uh, several videos of World War II weapons that are still being used today in the Ukraine war, and uh, they're still using those uh, M1910s, uh, which is just amazing. Um, they got some red dots on them and all that, and they're pretty cool. But this is what we got. Again, this is the cart. The cart's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty lightweight. I wanna say the entire system here, of course, minus the ammo, weighs about 90 pounds. Um, the weapon itself weighs about oh, about 30, 35 pounds. And the cart takes up the rest. It's got this little um, armor plating here. It didn't provide much protection, of course, uh, for the operators. The wheels are wooden and they got a metal strap around it. Just, just a cool piece. Uh, we're so thankful to actually get a hold of this thing. Now, you had two different... Um, Levers here, this one here on the left side would allow up and down. This one right here. And then this one over here would let you go side to side. And then again, you could lock it into place and, um, and just dial it on in. This one was your elevation. And of course you had a rear sight. This thing, um, Oh, I guess your max range was around 1,100 meters, 1,500 meters max. Again, it shoots a 
by 54R rimmed cartridge. These cartridges are the oldest cartridge still in use today. Um, this is not the exact same cartridge that it came out with about, geez, what was it? The turn of the century or, or something. It was about, I, I wanna say they're somewhere close to 130 years old, this round is, this concept of this round. Uh, it's evolved a little bit, but it's still basically the same thing. It's a great round, um, pretty reliable in everything that we've got and have tried it in. But uh, yeah, so this cart, the shield is removable pretty easy. You can just, uh, you got a little lock over here, you unlock and you can just slide it up. I have to see if we can find another one of these plates. Um, and uh, shoot some different rounds at it and see what this little plate will stop. And you had the two pins here. You can pull out. I know these little boogers were kind of tight getting in there. Man, it's supposed to be 60 something degrees today and it is not there. Anyways. And bam. There it comes off. Um, you had the, like that. huh? I want to fire it like that. Yeah, I got to fire it like that. <laughs> Except the rounds will eject into your belly. Oh. But this here, um, they did have these for a tank version, which had a solenoid on the back and uh, would allow them to use this bad boy from inside uh, the tank. So for, let me set this down here. Now, uh, the, to use the anti-aircraft stand, put the plate in, stand it up. You got another pin up here. And you just simply place the weapon here. And then you could actually use this as a anti-aircraft stand. Again, some people were shown with the wheels off, some with it on, but you could also just place your foot on it. And now you can do stand-up mode, which I thought was pretty cool. We don't have uh, anything to hold the can. I believe I had seen um, a holder that can mount up on this. And actually hold the ammo can uh, instead of it all just being down here maybe somebody fed it or something but yeah pretty nice pretty nice setup we are super excited about this uh, new member to our family here so let's shoot it Justin mm -hmm. let's show them what it does what we're gonna do we're gonna rip 29 rounds off into this car here and then we're gonna set up uh, some bricks and some other targets about 400 yards downrange and rip off some more rounds, see how it does. So another thing that Chris did mention was uh, the fact that this carriage is can also be used with the Maxim or some of the Maxim machine guns. And it does, the tongue does fold under so you can actually sit, you know, not on it. <laughs> so you have a little bit of room here. You got a brace with your feet. It's kind of awkwardly low. As you can see, uh, I have to kind of do that. But nonetheless, kind of keeps your uh, profile down. Uh, and as far as loading goes, an S243 actually feeds from the right, the non-disintegrating links. So what you have to do here is get the bolt forward. So with the bolt forward, you see the grabber's all the way forward. So you're going to drop that first link in there. I guess technically you could feed it with the cover down, but you're going to have to rack it an extra time to get that grabber to to hold on there and it's just closing the top cover and they're racking it once and it's ready to fire and this hasn't been test fired since i just seracoded it so we got our adorable youtube approved links of 29 rounds so all right you guys ready to send her let's do this Ah, it's got a few 
few quirks to work out, but what better way to put a smile on your face than the machine gun, right? Damn. All right, we're gonna be shooting at 400 yards from this guy. Hopefully we can get a continuous belt through it. Hasn't been feeding the best, but we'll work out those kinks later. And we're using this long shot camera system so we can see everything because from the camera down range and it'll record it, show your impacts and everything. So this is quite handy. All right, sending it. Looky there, man, just put a permagrin on my face. 29 rounds. <laughs> Only 29, because 29 is safer than more than 29, because that makes sense. That was pretty cool. We had a lot of issues with that um, SG-43 getting it going, but we finally figured it out. The links were a little too tight, so we had been messing with it and messing with it, and we finally figured out the links were too tight. It blew all 29 rounds off. Justin just peppered this thing, man. We got the top one. This is looks like where most of the aim stuff was, was a little bit here to the right. Um, this barrel, oh, it got some, um, some ricochets and stuff through, but it didn't go through. Hit up here on the top, blew out this side. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, that one has been long in the works to get going, and now we did. Well, thank you guys for coming out and sticking with us. Again, this one was this one was a pain in the butt to get going, but so glad we got this SG-43 going. We got more videos coming with a bunch of different World War II weapons that we have. Uh, don't forget to pick up your t-shirts. I'm wearing a ChevTech t-shirt today. These guys are pretty cool. Love this channel. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to buy a t-shirt from us and check out our Instagram page. We've got a lot of stuff going on there. We'll be back.